Hello and welcome to the Thursday, July 26th, 2022 select board meeting. Um, I'm about to call this meeting to order. The entire board is present. Town manager, town clerk is on Zoom. No public uh, is present. Uh, let's stand for the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. That should be pretty painless, I think. Um, first, we have the approval of the July 12th minutes. Everybody was present except for Mark for that meeting. Make a motion. Yeah, Noah, I forgot to put that in a minute, so I'll have to revise those. So if you want to approve that, that's Gotcha. So make a motion to approve with the amended adjustment. amended um, absence of Mark Dawson. Second. Uh, any other comments? Um, and I think we can, since we're all here, we can just by show of hands, uh, who approves? I can't, I can't vote, can I? No. No. Right. This no. Week. You can, but be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be this kind of vote. So, four approve, one abstain. All right. Uh, first public comment. All right. Uh, report of committees. Um, did you say that? Uh, I think Jeremy's trying to log in, uh, but all right, we can come back. We'll 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 circle back if he if he appears. Okay. Um, uh, so no report of committees at the moment. No department reports. Well, like I, I met with Lisa Houston today up at the Veteran Cemetery. Yep. So uh, I explained to her how to maintain it. Explained to her what to do and what not to do. And. Um, She's going to set a temporary irrigation system up we'll just from the, from the hydrant to there and just hook it up, three sprinklers, and put it around. And we'll put it, we'll install an irrigation system as soon as we have time. I, I'll, I'll install as soon as I have time. So, so um, that's going to be about it on that. Fix the lawn up a bit. All right. Uh, we have no appointments, presentations, or other guests. We have no unfinished business at the moment. Town managers report. We'll do a quick update for Envision Berwick. Um, we met with the with Chief Town on his security plan. He strongly recommended that we keep Rochester Street open. That way it doesn't send traffic two-way down Maple Lodge and Jordan Street. Uh, just from their experience, it's much more manageable to keep Rochester Street open. We had plans to put our, our food vendors and beer garden uh, in in the street. Um, so now we're working on moving the beer garden more towards the Bow Street side and pulling the vendors in off of Rochester Street. Um, anything else? Just um, on Sunday was Open Farm Day. Um, Luca and I attended uh, Orange Circle. They had the barnyard blowout i think was the name and uh it was just it was a really nice event there was music and local food provided it was at orange circle farm in the evening even though it was like a 95 degrees there was still <laughs> nice there was still nice breeze um hack Matak participated in the earlier in, in the afternoon they had a bluegrass and local food as well so it's just a nice celebration of, of agriculture and, and, and community. The last piece I have, the town was awarded $1.4 million. Um, that goes to Outfall 7. That's a project we've been pushing off as much as uh, possible uh, due to f just having challenges funding it. And this is stormwater infrastructure along Moulton Street. It also will treat some of the stormwater it gets piped into a bio filter and then it oh it's to the Salmon Falls River. Um, and that integrates in with Great Falls Park. So once once the hi Jeremy, once the 
Outfall 7 project is established, I think that'll help kind of establish how we can develop Great Falls Park. Um, and I, as Mike's mentioned a few times before about how like, oh, we're getting all this money and now it's the challenge, it's, it's going to be a fun challenge is making sure that um, we spend the money well and um, and that goes for this project and the three million for downtown project and 2.8 for the water. Um, we're gonna come up with some match funds, things like that. So you hear a lot about that in the next couple couple of months. The match funds are only like seventy thousand, aren't they? Right. Yeah. There's a few different projects. We need to come up with some match funds um, for the CAX projects and a, and a couple other pieces. But I'll have the exact numbers soon. Actually, the, la the la actually the last piece I have is we received funding for a safety study on Route Four. Um, to study the traffic accidents we've had out there. So that's at the very um, beginning preliminary stages. Yeah, how far down Route 4 are they going to go on that? The whole corridor, and it, and it might include pieces of South Berwick as well. That's awesome. Where'd the funding come from? So CAX is, uh, it's, a, it's, our, it's called the MPO. It's a metropolitan, uh, I think metropolitan planning organization. And it's a committee of Berwick, South Berwick, Elliott, York, Kittery. I don't know if I mentioned Kittery. It's those communities we meet once a month, give well, once a month, and um, yearly the committee together votes on planning projects, capital projects. Um, when we've been um, getting some funding from the group, um, it's been good working with the communities, and they've been we've been, we've been doing a good job of everyone. Um, sharing the funding for the different communities. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. On that stormwater project, I, we've been putting it off since I joined the board. Like we've been talking about it since then. It was engineered, and we had like like a big presentation on how it was all going to be laid out in like 2019 and everything. It's just like, where are you going to come up with a million and a half dollars to to put it all out there? So. I'm really excited to get that off the plate. And as James said, you no, know, is the town has received almost ten million dollars in monies yeah. Yeah. over the last several years. You know, and it, it shows how involved the the town has been in, in uh, looking for this money and, and getting it, you know. and also how well we've been using it. Because right. if you start, if you're misusing the money, they're not going to be giving it to you anymore. You know, there's. <laughs> There's going to be a cap eventually, but we keep doing it, <clears throat> the right projects, and attracted more investment, which is always great. So the MS4 project is we have we have the money and we, we will get our, our matching funds. Is when do you envision that actually getting kicked off? Probably at this point, um, probably summer 2023, I'd imagine, and then the. Sawmill Hill School Streets, 2024, maybe 2025, depending on funding. But it, and um, the stormwater pipe that connects from the edge site down to Salmon Falls will probably be 2024, right? Or 2023, all those, maybe 2023. Doing all the work downtown yeah. Anyway, yeah. So um, one, we're also um, CMP has been um, we've been working with CMP on the underground utility plan. They come in Thursday, is it? Yep. The upcoming Thursday meeting with um, CMP and, and our engineer. So we're going to have, a, as we're getting there for the Dig a Hole Once initiative of stormwater, utilities, and being able to build it back up with streetscaping, street amenities, things like that. Terrific. Uh, circling back around, we have Jeremy Caston. Did he, did he leave? Did he go? We'll be back. I'm here. I'm there, here is. there he is. So we have Jeremy with a uh, a report of committees. Yes. Well, yeah. A couple things. We had uh, open farm day over the weekend on Sunday, and it was a pretty terrific success. Obviously, a really hot day to have open farm day, but a nice group of people came through, uh, including people who'd um, read about it in uh, in the Sentinel, and were here on vacation. From, and staying uh, in one of the beach communities. So that's sort of a, a, a 
a low hanging fruit uh, thing to check off the list, but something that I think is uh, speaks well to the future of uh, Open Farm Day and and what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, we also have an update regarding Bring Your Lawn Chairs to Sullivan Square and the uh, the concert series. We um, had initially met with the police chief about two and a half months ago and laid out a plan for um, what we hoped we could uh, would make sense and sort of uh, proceeded in that direction. Last week, uh, we, uh, James and I, sat down with, um, with uh, uh, Chief Plant, and, and so police, fire, public works, and um, there was there's some reticence about closing both uh, Sullivan and Rochester Street. Uh, so what we have uh, for safety come up with is closing Sullivan completely and closing just one lane of Rochester, because it's going to be slow no matter what for those hours that we have the concert, um, but still allowing traffic through and keeping that traffic flowing somewhat. Um, and um, that seems like that's going to work out a lot better for everybody. So we've been adjusting. We uh, are, have reached out to the state because our um, beer garden permit is for a very specific spot, essentially, that was you know, went out into, into the street. So we were looking at moving that um, like 10 feet uh, uh, closer to the gym, which, uh, which, you know, the brewery and uh, Alex Bover all aware of. So we, we may not even need to submit additional paperwork to the state, but that's kind of the broad sweeping update. Am I forgetting anything, James? No, I, that, that covers it. <clears throat> It just just as a reminder, Jeremy, why don't you give us the dates for the lawn chairs? Absolutely. Uh, Bring your lawn chairs to Sullivan Square is August 6th and 20th, both Saturdays. It's from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, both events have uh, a silhouette cutter who's incredible, like who will be doing cutting silhouettes for free for whoever waits in line. We have uh, face painting from actual artists, uh, including Berwick's own... Um, uh, ben from the tattoo place across the street and um, some other surprise guests. Uh, we will have uh, four food vendors plus a food truck. So a substantially bigger lawn chairs plus variety acts. We have an uh, aerialist with the wheelmen coming who are on the giant uh, penny farthing bikes showing off their crazy bikes um, and a variety of things from uh, magicians to, uh, to puppets. So it should be uh, between the between the bands uh, a great great variety acts for the family and um, beer garden, which I think is a, a a big thing to pull off right right in Sullivan Square. So uh, we're we're pretty serving Berwick's finest, serving Corner Point beer. So a lot of a lot of things to be proud of. Almost all the food comes. In fact, all of the food vendors come from the immediate area but several of them are actually Berwick food. So that's pretty cool. So we don't have another meeting until August 9th. Will you come to that meeting and give us an update on how hopefully well everything went and uh, just give us uh, the rundown of everything? Yeah. Would that be yeah. okay? Cool? Yeah, of course, I would love to. Please, we'd love, love to have you back and hear, hear about everything, so. Absolutely, well, I hope I'll see you all at, uh, at the concert. Right. Oh, I'm sure we all hope to make it. Yes, yes absolutely. <laughs> yes. So, but um, yeah, uh, sounds like it's going to be a great time for adults, kids, and everything in between. So, great. Thank you, Jeremy. Absolutely. Thank you, Jeremy. Have a great evening. Have a good one. All right. Selectman communications, we have none. Uh, approval of the accounts payable and payroll warrants. All right, all in order, they are all in order. All right, so payroll warrant number four for the amount of $90,787.25 uh, dated July 21st. We have payroll warrant number five, $90,206.96 for July 28th. And accounts payable warrant number six in the amount of one million one hundred and forty three thousand three hundred eighty five and ninety five dollars and ninety five cents 
for July 28th. I move that we pay all our bills. I'll second that. All those in favor? And there we go. The town continues to thrive. What? Don't we do a voice vote? Don't you take? Well, Don't if we're, if, if we're up. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. everybody's we're here, so. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. present, you don't need to. Yeah. Well, for, for the sake of, uh, you know, time. There's a, that, no other real reason <laughs> behind it. <laughs> Two years. You're doing a good job, Noah, though. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> I was worried you thought I might take in your job. <laughs> oh, All right. Uh, new business. We have the adoption of the York County Mitigation Plan. James, will you give us a little introduction sure. to that? The, this plan, it's been approved by um, Maine EMA and by FEMA. And the plan is pending adoption resolutions from all <clears throat> towns and cities in York County. And the county must have a, an approved hazard mitigation plan in order for York County cities and towns, schools and agencies to access state and federal hazard mitigation funding. Um, I believe the, up, the update this, I, I believe by um, law or policy, they have to update this every five years. So that's part of that. And uh, the plan can be, is linked on our town website under fire and rescue emergency, emergency management. It allows us to access a lot of the federal FEMA grants. Yeah. yeah. It should an emergency come right. up. Right. But, um, yeah, so this is more or less just a formality that we, as we had the, all the towns of York County are re-agreeing to the same same plan, um, just updated every five years or so. All right, terrific. Anything? Anybody have any comments, questions? I'll make a motion that we adopt the York County Maine Hazard Mitigation Plan. Does anybody have anything else? No? All those in favor? Aye. And that's five in favor. All right. Uh, now we have the bid award for fire department surplus equipment. So we have some fire equipment that is being up for sale. And two items have bids on them. And um, yeah. So we can just go over these bids really quick. We have uh, Miro Boat Boat. Uh, craft boat. Uh, we have a bid in the amount of fifteen hundred dollars and a bid in the amount of five hundred and six dollars. And we have a two hundred and uh, two thousand six UTV Kawasaki thirty ten mule. We have a bid for eleven hundred and six dollars, eleven hundred and three dollars and three cents, and twenty three. Hundred and fifty dollars. So, um, I'll make a motion that we uh, award the bid for the Mirocraft boat to Alex Plant for the amount of fifteen hundred dollars. I second the motion. All those in favor? <clears throat> and I'll make a motion that we accept the bid for the two thousand and six Kawasaki thirty ten mule from Dana Hall for the amount of $2,350. All those in favor? All right. So that's two things that will be awarded to those bidders and we shall have, we have three other items for sale that have not had any bids. A portable 500 gallon per minute hail pump, a 1998 F-250 pickup truck, and a 1985 Kinman Rescue Tool slash Ram. So if any members of the public are interested in those, they should submit bids to who? Probably. Um, coming to the top of Berwick, you know, same as the regular bids, right? I mean, yeah. yeah. Good. Yes. You can, Patty, do you have any suggestions on how we should handle the ones that haven't had bids? We can just put out another bid request. And this one had a deadline, so we can do another one for those three items. I would like to take a, take a look at that pump. I need a pump for work, the nurses. I'll, I'll take a look at it. 
Okay. Tomorrow, come up with that. Is that over the fire station? I would imagine probably. Yeah, it's probably, it's probably there. Okay. Yeah. Might be at Town Garage. <laughs> Anybody have any questions about that stuff? The, uh, any comments? Nothing? Terrific. Moving right along. We have no quick claim deeds. We have no abatements. Second public comment. No members of the public have appeared. All right. So we have an executive session today to deal with a uh, real estate issue and discussion of personnel uh, will be exiting out of this meeting going into the executive session we will not be coming back as we will not be making any decisions or any votes in that executive session um, do we need a motion to go into executive well, session? well yeah. we haven't gone there yet but, yeah. yes. okay. but uh, before we do that is there any other comments from any of the board that anybody else want to add anything um, James, do you have a date for when uh, uh, the River Road will be complete? I, I don't. I can I can look into it. I, I, somebody asked me that just sure. before I came down sure. here, so I haven't been out that way. So, other than that, no. All right. Uh, then I will move that we enter executive session, Title One Four O Five Six C and Four O Five Six A for discussions uh, for real estate and discussion of personnel. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? All right. So there we go.